Hey everyone, today is day six of our doodle challenge and it is on, what's it on? Bubbles. Okay, so this is an interesting one because we did circles, but I put bubbles because bubbles do different things. And so I'm like getting the hang of this uh, sketch pad thing. And so I thought I would just give some tips on how we can use what are you thinking about? So you have in my email and on my blog, I have pictures of some of the bubbles that I created. Now I want you to go back to the circles, the one that I did at the beginning, that could be considered bubbles as well. So I think that when we, um, because bubbles and circles, they're like the same shape pretty much. But the idea of a bubble compared to a circle, you're going to have different ideas. Bubbles usually entail like water or something. So um, one of the things I suggest when you are creating is to, to draw a shape that you're going to work within. Um, as you saw yesterday's video, this is not a very good tool for that, especially because I haven't figured out how to make lines. But what I was thinking was, so for bubbles, oh, oops, I just have to press pencil, I guess. Okay, pencil. There we go. Um, okay. So you're just going to come around and I was thinking of bubbles as in, so there are a bunch of circles that are going to be joined. And so I thought, oops, um, I would create this base and then I would just come back. Now you notice when I'm doing my circles or bubbles, whoever, I, I really want to make sure I'm connecting with that one there. And then what I want, I can do is I can come up here and I can create lines of bubbles. Now, because we're doing free motion quilting, we want to do everything, keep touching. So I'm just going to come back, come back, come back. Now, if I wanted to come over here, I'm just going to join along the lines, the previously stitched lines. And then I'm just going to, oops. So do you see that? Um, oh my goodness, this is a lot more challenging than I thought. Okay, so then you just come back down. Oh, I'm still doing it. And then you could just create different ones there. Now, one of the um, other ideas I had was for the bubbles is to create different sizes. So I have this bigger one and then I'm gonna like pearl a pearl necklace when it's graduated. And then I'm just gonna go smaller, smaller, smaller. And then in the example I have there and then I have larger here and this gets smaller. So it creates different design, different design. So I just want you to think of like, when you think of uh, bubbles, you think of fish, fish. Okay, so then how would I, so if we have this fish here, you know, when it's out, how would I create the bubbles that are connected from the fish's mouth? And then if we wanted to create more fish, um, Okay, so just, I, just, I really want you to start thinking about different ways that you can create bubbles and connect, connecting those shapes. This is how the imagination works so well um, that you can be like bubbles. Okay, what else do I think of bubbles? I think of like a sunny day if someone in bubbles, you know, how would that, you know, they'd be floating through the air or whatever, the, whatever that is, creating clouds of bubbles. Or if you think of a pool or a fish, fish pond or something, um, you know, how would you create this look of these bubbles? So just, or blowing bubbles, like balloons, or um, um, yeah, like there's so many different ideas that you can think about. And just let yourself, like just let your imagination go. And remember, this is on paper, and so it's not a, on a quilt that you have to unpick if you don't like it. That's the beauty of the doodling, right? You're building, you're auditioning different ideas, all of that. It's so much fun. Okay, so I want to see all of your bubbles. I'm super excited to see all that you're doing because this is something that you are go it's going to pay off in the long run because the more you do something, the more comfortable you get, the more success you're going to have. Okay, everyone, have an amazing day.